uh, going to get some drone footage. That just really didn't work out good at all, did it? Tell you what though, in spirit of today, this vlog's gonna be about, I'm going to uh, show you guys some footage that I uh, captured, oh, before football season started. Here it is. got the wife some soup she's been real congested uh, she went to the chiropractor a few days ago and the chiropractor adjusted something with her neck or something and said that uh, she may feel she may like get a lot of drainage and things like something they did something to help her sinuses or something so who knows but uh, yeah the poor thing she's real congested and she asked me if I'd go get her some soup so went for the drone got her some soup and uh, now I'm about to have to go get me some breakfast because uh, it's going to be a long day, but it's going to be an awesome long day. All right, so here is the deal. Today is Saturday, September 29th, 2018. Uh, I got to go get me some breakfast because I am due at my uncle and cousin's house at 10 o'clock a.m. sharp to pick them up. And we're going to head northeast to Norman, Oklahoma. The Sooners take on the Baylor Bears at 2.30 p.m. We have to be in Norman. We have to be at the stadium at noon because my cousin Bull, who if you follow this vlog, you've probably seen him a lot in a lot of my vlogs. Hasn't been in a lot of them lately. The kid's a senior in high school. He's really, really busy. But man, he's he has grown so much. He's pretty tall, big kid, been hitting the weights and conditioning and stuff for football. Football is everything. That's his sport. That's bull sport. He plays, uh, he wrestles and he plays baseball too. But uh, he is uh, not bragging, just being honest. He's a stud football player and he is getting um, offers uh, from a lot of schools and the University of Oklahoma, OU, actually had Bull take a uh, trip, hooked him up with three tickets, and took a visiting trip, got to meet the coaches. Baker Mayfield went and spoke to him uh, last Saturday when OU squeaked out that victory over Army. Uh, so anyways, he got another uh, visit today, three more tickets. Gonna meet the coaches and do the whole process over again, I'm assuming. But luckily for me, and unfortunately for uh, Bull's older uh, brother, Brandon, who is also an amazing football player and is a quarterback at OBU, uh, actually he couldn't go today uh, because he had to be uh, at his school. So anyways, I, uh, I benefit from that and uh, I'll tell you guys more about it here in a minute. The uh, sausage biscuit combo. Thank you. Anyhow, since Brandon couldn't go, they had an extra ticket and Bull asked me if I wanted to go and of course I wanted to go. So what's cool about it is, from what I understand, and I could be way off, I could be wrong, but um, they will have somebody 
big, like maybe a former player, former coach, some kind of OU icon or something that will actually talk to all the kids. And then also, uh, pre-game, I get to be down on the sidelines, which I'm like five foot nine. I'm a short guy. I'm gonna be around all these big, tall recruit kids, so I probably won't be able to see much, but I am so pumped up. Good morning. Good morning. 731. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. You as well. So yeah, anyways, I'm just uh, I'm just very excited because uh, I've been on the OU field before, but never during a game. And actually, I'm not going to be on there during a game this time, but pre-game. So uh, pretty pumped up. Surely, hopefully, um, OU will have a lot easier time with Baylor back to squaring off against Big 12 offenses like we're used to facing. That whole triple uh, option thing that the Army did. Uh, anyways, yada, 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 yada. Sorry. Gonna get my breakfast, gonna enjoy it. Get some last minute stuff picked up. Go pick up Unk and Bull. What up, what up? Ready for all this? What up, Kyle? What up?
Later. All right, well, it is currently 7.30 p.m. And I uh, just got through dropping off uh, Unk and Cuzzo. Had a great time. Those are like the closest, best seats I've ever had at an OU game, which makes sense. It was like a recruiting type trip for Bull, a second one in a row. Went last week versus Army, and then of course today versus uh, Baylor. OU ended up winning 66 to 33. Not a whole lot of defense being played in the Big 12, but I think there's an argument that a lot of that has to do with just the supreme offenses that are played. So anyways, uh, back here in Andarco, fixing to get back home and uh, see what the old boss lady's up to, see what she's been up to today.